Hello everyone. Since Nime comes with a large variety of connector nodes, I would like to give you an overview of the most frequently used nodes based on one of our cheat sheets. This cheat sheet is available for download and you can find the link in the description of this video. Reading files is one of the most common data access tasks. The file reader node can read various text files such as CSV and TXT and automatically guesses the structure of your files. For many special formats such as Excel, there are dedicated reader nodes providing configuration options that are specific to each one. File formats such as JSON and XML have dedicated reader nodes, while NIME provides additional capabilities to extract their contents in an easy and convenient way. PDF files, Word documents and many other formats are covered by the Tika parser. NIME is also capable of reading images, audio files and networks. With the many technologies and services allowing you to store information, it's unlikely that all your data is available locally. NIME offers an easy option to connect your reader nodes to remote file systems. To activate a file system connection, click the three dots in the bottom left corner of a node. NIME provides connectors for cloud storage systems such as Azure Data Lake Gen 2, Google Drive, Amazon S3 and Microsoft SharePoint. There are also connectors for distributed file systems such as HDFS and Databricks. To connect to these systems, the corresponding authentication node needs to be used. For instance, the SharePoint Online Connector node requires a Microsoft Authentication node. NIME offers integrations with various other tools like Python, R, H2O and SAS. Python and R scripts can be read and executed by the corresponding source nodes. The parent extensions come with large sets of nodes such as a Python object reader or a Python view node. Databases are another common way of storing and accessing data. There are dedicated connector nodes for common SQL databases such as Oracle, Snowflake, PostgreSQL and MySQL. For NoSQL databases, there are connector nodes such as MongoDB and Neo4j. For big data technologies, we have Hive and Impala. Connectors to cloud-based databases such as Google BigQuery, Amazon Redshift and Amazon Athena are available as well. NIME offers dedicated nodes to perform in-database processing, which utilizes the computational power of the database system to process the data without it leaving the database. These nodes allow non-experts to build SQL statements in a visual way. The DB Reader node pulls the data into NIME based on the SQL statement created by the previous nodes, which lets you use all other non-database nodes to work with your data. Web services can be called by the nodes of NIME's REST client extension. Semantic web resources such as SparkQL endpoints, in-memory endpoints and triple files can be accessed via their corresponding nodes. Additionally, there are various extensions for external web services such as Twitter and Salesforce. To retrieve contents of a website or an RSS feed, the web page retriever or the RSS feed reader nodes can be used respectively. The HTTPS, SSH and FTP connector nodes allow you to connect to servers via the specified protocol. Cloud providers such as Amazon, Microsoft and Google do not only provide cloud storage systems, they also have their own services and solutions for data analysis and data science. NIME offers integrations with these services such as Google Sheets, Google Analytics and Amazon's AI and ML services like Comprehend, Translate and Personalize. Additionally, there are reader nodes for various model types such as NIME generated models, PMML formatted models, and Keras and TensorFlow networks. Last but not least, NIME provides a set of nodes that create big data environments or contexts. The Create Local Big Data Environment node creates a fully functional environment including Apache Hive, Apache Spark, and HDFS. It's ideal for testing your application before deploying it into the real cluster.